Well, Pat in love with Pat's two cents. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy resurrection. Whatever you want to call it, we are celebrating our risen Savior. And this is what I want you to think about. Think about the resurrection from the dead. He laid in that tomb until the third day. Can you imagine the heaviness, the mourning, the darkness, the gloom, the sorrow, the loss? Well, listen to this. Many of you go through things in your life and you feel like things are wasted. You've lost so much time. You missed so many opportunities. You, you wasted your youth on stupidity. You wasted your good health on nonsense, on people that weren't worthy of your time and your love. You, you wonder why didn't you wake up sooner? You wonder if you had done it differently, would this have happened? Would that have happened for you? Would you have been able to fulfill all your dreams? Well, let me tell you this. With Jesus being the resurrection and the life, think about the promise that's in Joel. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. Now, you know, when locusts go through a, a bunch of plant life, there's nothing left. I mean, they devour everything. And sometimes our lives feel like we've been devoured. Our, our years have been wasted, devoured, eaten up. Our dreams are shattered. Our hopes are dashed. And we just wonder is there anything left for me now? Yes. I'll answer that for you. If you have Jesus in your heart, the answer to that is yes. God will withhold nothing good from you. He said in Psalms, no good thing will I withhold from you. You have a hope. You have a hope in Jesus. You have a hope in the love of God. God is faithful. God is mindful of you. God has a plan for you. Remember that. God knows the plans he has for you. Plans to bless you, not harm you. Oh, come on now. You have a hope and a future. The, the King James calls it an expected end. Look up to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from the Lord. Listen, you have to hope in God, believe in God, pursue God. Be in Christ Jesus. Be filled with his Holy Spirit. Be empowered by his love because through his power, you will reach your goals. Through his power, you will fulfill your dreams. Through his power, you will be able to be all you can be. All that God called you to be. Stir up those gifts that still lie within. Don't lay down and give up the ghost on your life. No. Jesus said, I have come to give you life and that more abundantly. It's the thief, <coughs> which is the devil, <coughs> excuse me, that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus said, I have come that you would have life and that more abundantly. That doesn't just mean stuff. That means life worth living, joy, fulfillment, gratitude, peace. <coughs> I'm going to stop because my throat's giving out on me. But listen, have hope, believe, don't give up, don't lose your faith. Start asking God, what can I do from now on? And wait for his answer. And then walk in it and see what he does. God bless you. Happy Resurrection.